being left alone gets a bad rap. What else could we be forgetting? Our troubles will be ours. Kevin! Ah! Home alone. But being left alone is important for building independence and building self-sufficiency. This is my house. I have to defend it. Where's your mother? I can't tell you that. Why not? Because you're a stranger. So how do you use this knowledge as a people manager or leader for the sake of your team without being perceived as an absent or unsupportive leader? We had a manager in one of our training programs who was raving about his new management technique. He was getting sick of constantly answering questions and solving people's problems, so he just decided to turn his phone off for much of the day. And by the time he turned it back on several hours later, listened to his voicemails and returned to those calls, the people he was calling had very often solved the problem for themselves or made their own decision. This is brilliant. He said, thanks so much for the advice. Well, it wasn't exactly our advice. What we had said was that one of the most powerful questions a people manager or a leader can ask is, what would you do if I wasn't here? The idea is to stimulate their thinking by simulating your absence without actually being absent. It's a great tactic to strike a balance between being supportive and creating independence. What would you do if I wasn't here? Boop, 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 boop.